Hey folks, how you guys doing? Hopefully you're all having a great day today. I gotta throw my face in front of the camera so it'll focus on me. But this video is not about me. It's about these filter boxes, right? So there's four 20 by 20 square filters for that mini split head. And the same thing for this one over here. There's one, two, three, four for that mini split head. And then one that you can't see, which is upstairs in the loft. It is the exact same thing, except they're too wide front and back because it's offset off the wall. That gives me a total of 12 filters on these three mini split heads. I replaced the filters for just that unit. So this one over here is still rocking the original filters. Uh, I did vacuum them off once. And then the one upstairs still rocking the original filters. Now I don't remember when I had AC installed in this in this building. I think it's a full year ago. I'll have the I'll put the date on the screen or figure out how long of a distant or long of a time it's been since I installed the, or had the mini splits installed, but all winter no problems heating and cooling heating this place. All summer middle of Mississippi, it's hot outside, no problems cooling this place. So I don't really have an accurate way to measure to see if there's any negative impact on the performance of these units, but uh, nothing that I'm experiencing would, would indicate that there's a negative performance on these mini split units. But what I am curious is how much dust is actually on the inside. Because like I said, I've replaced these filters. There's a date on them. I wrote on the top of these. Those were replaced on 1-5-20. So January 5th, 2020. And it's currently the middle of August. Quite a while ago for these. And like I said, the other ones are still on the original filters. I, I just vacuumed them off. So how much dust is actually on the inside of them? This is a woodworking environment and the whole point of putting those filters up there was to keep the dust off the internals of the unit, keep those coils nice and clean and hopefully keep them working just fine. Uh, I do have another box of filters here. So I bought two more boxes of filters and I get these in six pack on Amazon. Right, so there's six filters in there, 20 by 20 by one. The key thing to note here is the actual size. Actual size is 19 and a half by 19 and a half by three quarter. So it's just like dimensional lumber. It's not, <laughs> it's not the, the, uh, the nominal size and, and actual size are different. Uh, but anyway, I get them in boxes of six and I've got two boxes here taped together. And if I look at the shipping label on here, uh, April of 2020. So I bought these back in April to, to replace them and I just simply haven't. Let's open one of these up and see what we got. Let's go over here to this side since I do have a ladder already set up. All right, it's, it's kind of impossible to get the camera, uh, to get the main camera, that camera to show over here, so I've got my cell phone. I think I've only vacuumed these off once, but that just sounds odd. Surely I didn't go this long with only vacuuming them off once. The less dustier, the less dusty the, the environment is, obviously, the less dust that these are gonna have to capture. So uh, I've got a good dust collection system in here and I routinely clean up with it. So I don't expect these things to get filthy, but every little speck of dust that these filters catch is less dust inside the unit causing premature failure and, and decreased efficiency with the coils getting all dirty. And that's the whole point of these is to keep the coils clean. So, and they're just, just set in place. Uh, one thing to note, uh, these filters are 19 and a half inch square. They're not exactly 20 by 20. I, I did buy some extra filters that were 20 by 20 and I put them in the other unit to my right. Uh, and I had to crum crumple the edges a little bit to make up that half inch, but anyway, I'm rambling here. So one filter out, two filters out. Is there any dust in here? Let me switch to my cell phone. Cell phone, here we go. And the box, this looks nice and clean, no dust. The filter, the original filter. Let's see if I can get a see if I can get it to focus. Uh, that does not look dusty at all. I'm not seeing... <laughs> I'm not seeing any dust. That's impressive. No dust buildup after, I guess, a year or so? These white speckles you see are from the spray, and spray foam insulation on the ceiling. 
I didn't quite get a, do a fantastic job masking everything off, so I did get a little bit of speckling on my on my uh, original filters here. But yeah, these filters look great. There's there, there's not any dust on them, no measurable amount of dust anyway. And if there's this if these are this clean, then the inside of the uh, coils should be just as clean as well. And like I said, I don't think there's any performance difference when I put these filters on. So I don't know. Part of me wants to just put these back up here and see how far I can stretch them. Part of me is like, eh, it's maintenance. You might as well just put some new filters on there and be done with it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some new filters on and actually write the date on them this time. It is worth noting that these filters are in a heck of a lot better condition than the filters on my air cleaner cart. So I am going to uh, not throw these away. I'm going to uh, run these down the line, I guess you could say, and put them in my air cleaner cart because those, my air cleaner cart, they're almost black. <laughs> Alright, I think they may have changed their manufacturing setting or something. Some type of small change in manufacturing because their tolerances have changed. I mean, I, I guess that's good for a good seal, but I didn't build it with that in mind. So these other two, I'm gonna have to get a different ladder. All right, so that's a little disappointing. I had to smash these filters to get them to fit in there. So still, they're labeled as 19 and a half inch square. Uh, I know on Amazon, a lot of people complain about these filters being a little too loose in their 20 by 20 um, air return registers. So maybe they made a change to the size. Either way, uh, these boxes are built to the old size, so gosh, that's that's something to think about. I should have added a little bit of extra room, and then see if my fingers gonna get fuzzy. Added some extra room, and then added some strips that come down here on the front side to kind of uh, block airflow or direct airflow around them, around the seams and into the filters. Uh, I'm not getting any noticeable amount of airflow through the seams here, and there is a vertical partition a vertical uh, support piece behind the seam to kind of, you know, say, hey, air go through the filters. But it's definitely something to take into consideration. So how dirty are these filters, right? Check this out. This is a brand new filter, brand new, right out of the box. This filter is one I just pulled down from up there. So uh, filtering out air going into the mini split. And this filter, is on my air cleaner cart. So as you can see, they get dirtier and dirtier and dirtier, but they're still effective. So uh, like I said, I could have kept this one up there and got more life out of it, but whatever. I mean, it's a full year. I'll put the new ones up there, like I said, and these bad ones that I'm pulling out, I'm gonna put these in my air cleaner cart, like I said, as well. But I thought it was interesting to at least put them side by side by side to see the difference, right? This air cleaner cart, also something to note. Though these mini split units, they don't need to move a tremendous amount of air. Uh, they're just, anyway, they don't need to move a tremendous amount of air. This, on my air cleaner cart, does need to move a lot of air because I'm wanting it to filter as much air as possible, where those are just trying to change the temperature. <laughs> so, so this is three quarter inch plywood on this box and I'm halfway through the plywood sticking off, so I'm gonna go three eighths of an inch too large on this end. That sucks. I'm gonna have to compress. Oh, that sucks too. I'm gonna have to compress one of these filters, and my timer just went off on the grill because I'm smoking a rack of ribs. Uh oh. Let's get this done real fast. <laughs> All right, I really do not like how tight these filters are in, but it is what it is. When a company changes a standard size that they've had for so many years. Oh, that sucks. All right, food. The ribs are in wrap, so I can go ahead and finish up with this. So I already went ahead, I already went ahead and got the ones upstairs down. Uh, this is the one that was right here. You see how dirty it was. And we can get all these off. If you haven't made one of these air cleaner carts, I mean, I got free plans on my website or free diagram. I got free information on my website for to making one of these carts. 
amazing. I, I really, really, really recommend doing so. And uh, I have a Dylos air quality monitor that I use to monitor the air here in my shop. And regardless of how accurate it specifically is, I can use it to get relative readings of fresh air outside versus air in my shop. And oftentimes, when this thing is running, my air in the shop is cleaner, less particulates in the air than outside. So I highly, highly, highly recommend making one of these. Now let's see, let's keep reusing these filters. Also, I don't have running water in my shop, so I've got a water jug. Ooh, these are dusty. I just knocked one and dust went flying. Let's see, that's going to bug me. I guess these are all going vertical. All vertical or all horizontal. It doesn't matter. They just all have to be the same. And even with this, in this orientation, it still, it still grabs a lot of the air and circulates it too. I don't normally keep this cart over here. So it's blowing air up and on a circular pattern around the shop. And there's uh, enough airflow around this. Or there's a gap around it to uh, have all the filters get dirty at the same time. So I'm not blocking off, say, one side with the refrigerator or anything like that. That's it for this video. I mainly wanted to uh, give an update on how those are doing. I'm going to keep, like I said, I'm going to keep these filters that I took down from uh, over here because these are still good enough to, to use once again uh, on the air cleaner cart. Anyway, there's a little update. Also, I went up into the loft and found another box of filters I didn't know I had, so yay for overspending. I wish you could smell how good these ribs smell.